So in this video, we're looking at a really helpful user interface object called panel and also a new object to max the attribute inspector. Let's start with panel. So this giant gray box I have in the screen uh, and also this red triangle over here, these are both panel objects. So let's go ahead and pull up our inspector. So you can see a little bit about what we can control about our panel. Um, notice we've got different shapes uh, that we could decide on. We could change up the roundness of our corners. So a lot of visual control, colors, etc. that we can use. We can also change the opacity of these panels. If we want to see through uh, our panels a little bit. So they're really nice in helping us lay out our user interfaces. If uh, in our patch we're going to have some people using our patch that aren't us and uh, we want it to look a little bit nicer. There might be things that I want to control actually without being the programmer and having to pull up the inspector. And the attribute inspector is actually an object that you can add into your patch. It's right here and it inspects these attributes. So it brings them up and then it also allows you to change them in the patch without bringing up the inspector. There are different modes that it can display in. So for example, here I have this color panel and for this button object right now I have set to blink color. So that's the color that it'll turn on when I click it. When I click on this color swatch here, I get this color panel and I can change what my blink color is by moving this around. So let's make it red. And now it's a red flashing button. Another way to bring up the attribute inspector is just to right click on the left inlet of any object that has these attributes to inspect. So I right click here and I have this panel that's popped up. I've got background color, blink color, outline color, um, and style and style are like presets for all of these different visual attributes uh, that you might just pre-decide what you want a particular style to look like. So I'm going to click here on background color and all, all I did is right click and then select the attribute that I wanted and it made a new object for me that has background color in it here. All right, so now when I click here, I get this, uh, this background color here. My saturation is pretty dark right now. I'll just bring that up a little bit. So I can do this with just this visual interface uh, with the color here, or I can change the display mode. So here in your inspector of your attribute inspector object, uh, I've got this display mode here, and this one is selecting multi-number float. Uh, this one over here uh, is set to automatic. So if you're inspecting a color, it will automatically bring up that color swatch. But you can change that if you wanted to, for example, see these RGB alpha colors. Uh, so over here we have the same thing happening. We have a dial with a background color of orange. Um, and then we also have that orange swatch here related to my four RGB numbers. So you can see as I'm changing the color, changing these float values that are displayed in the background color. So not only can you change the colors here or the attributes itself, but it's also going to reflect any time that you change the attribute either here or somewhere else.